Hey foodies, welcome back to another episode of the Reina's Kitchen. Today we'll be making this delicious pot of shrimp soup, as you can see. Yes, I use a shrimp with the head on, but you know, you can use a headless shrimp if that's your choice. The ones with the head just um, have more flavor to me, so I love the shrimp with the head on. Did stop by the farmer's market, pick up some yam. This is definitely a product of Jamaica. I also picked up the white sweet potato. Okay, you know, said this after going in your soup. So I did stop by the seafood department. I was able to pick up shrimp with the head, shrimp without the head, shrimp from all different parts of the world. They have tiger shrimp, just name it, it was there. And keep in mind, you can add other seafood like crab and lobster to your soup. So yes, the farmer's market is everything. I got all my fresh ingredients there. I'm using about a cup of okra. There's my yellow yam. I got some carrot. I have pumpkin, corn, just all my fresh ingredients. I'll be using the shrimp with the head on, as you can see, I have my Grace cock soup mix. I have the pumpkin and the regular cock soup. All right, and to get the soup going, we're gonna make some shrimp stock. I'll just be adding a little butter to the saucepan. And then I'm also gonna be adding a little green seasoning, which is my blended version of natural seasoning, such as scallion, onion, garlic, thyme, pimento, and so forth. You can view the complete recipe by scrolling down on my channel. And while you're here, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and the notification bell. So every time I post another video, you'll be the first one to be notified. So next I'm adding these shells. This is actually from some wild Patagonian shrimp. I did make some curry shrimp a few nights ago. So I reserved a shell to make my stock right here. And um, sometimes you can find a bullion if you don't have shells to make your stock. So that's another way to probably the seafood bullion or the shrimp bullion, whichever you choose. So I'm just going to add about eight cups of water to this. I'm going to let it simmer. And while it's simmering over there, I'll be making my dumpling. So, you know, the dumpling is just flour, cornmeal, little salt and water. I was trying to actually use a spoon, but this process is just too time consuming for me. It's just a lot easier for me to throw my gloves on and knead the dough so that's what i resorted to so when i'm cooking and where dumpling is involved i knead the dough and set it to the side cover with a wet paper towel and allow it to rest because the dough glutenized and it's stretchy by the time i'm ready to make the dumpling it's so flexible so this is what i recommend to just make your dough before you start doing anything all right so next i'll cut up my carrots i'm cutting up my pumpkin about two carrots about a cup and a half of pumpkin and then i have my corn i'll be adding this to a bowl of water then i'll be doing the yam you could just slice the yam this way i think it's a lot easier to slice the yam this way and then peel it actually than trying to peel the yam um, as a whole so prepping and getting this to me about 10 to 15 minutes that is fish seasoning or seafood seasoning i have chocho then i'm using the shrimp with the head on the shrimp with the head on have more flavor to me i know if some people don't look, like looking at the eyes that's like eating the fish with the head on then i have all my fresh ingredients right there the scallion the thyme pimento and everything and definitely the okra the okra just thickens up the soup as well so that's what the dough looks like all right so my shrimp stock has been boiling for about 10 to 15 minutes i'm gonna go ahead and strain this off because you don't want the shells in your um soup all right and then i'll be adding the next ingredients to this which is the carrot and the pumpkin let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes to soften up the ingredients because they were not cooking any meat so the process is a little quicker i'll be adding right here about a teaspoon of seafood seasoning or you can use the fish seasoning a little salt just add some flavor allow this to boil on medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes i am topping it up with some water because we need a big pot of soup this is about five quarts right here so after about 15 minutes i'll be adding the corn the yellow yam the potatoes white sweet potato irish potato add a little chocho and then i'm gonna cover this for about 10 more minutes and then i'm gonna add my dumpling and yes, let me remind you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. We're going to jump right into making these dumplings. You can make the cartwheel dumpling or you can make the spinners. Like I said, the dumpling recipe is on my channel, so you can scroll down and follow that recipe. It's very easy to make. All right, so these are the spinners, just the long um, skinny dumplings. So, you know, soup, dumpling must go in soup. It's not soup if dumpling is not in the soup to me. 
So up next, I'll be adding my scallion or four stalks of scallion, the scotch bonnet, is a must, some pimento, a little thyme, some more garlic, you know, just nice up your pot. I'm also adding about a cup of okra or okra. I normally put this in last. This is right before I add the noodles because you don't want it to cook out too much. I still want it to be popping green once my soup is ready. All right, so I'll be adding a pack of the Grace Cock Soup Mix, and I will also be adding the pumpkin mix. You can do half and half or just taste in moderation. If you don't want too much of the noodles in your pot, you can strain the noodles and sift the seasoning. So we're just gonna mix this well. You can, you know, spice up and taste and adjust as you go. I did add a little bit more seafood seasoning just to give it that nice seafood flavor. Now I'm gonna add the shrimp, which is the last ingredient because you don't want the shrimp to be overcooked and soft and mushy. And then with it being in the shell, the shell just locks in that flavor. All right, and once the shrimp is added to the pot, just allow this to simmer on medium heat for about another three minutes and just cover the pot because the water, the, 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 the soup is going to cook the shrimp inside out and the shrimp will be perfect. They won't be mushy. It will be nice. You can just sit there and eat your soup and peel the shells as you go. See the scotch bonnet is still intact. It didn't burst in the pot. I'm just removing a small portion to the side um because you know trust me the soup was so nice everybody didn't want to eat it off so i set some to the side this is actually a glass pot it does cook on any surface you can cook it on the electric stove you can use it on a gas stove you can use it on the grill it's heat resistant so but just don't drop it because it's glass but look at this the okra or okra the noodles everything is still intact because you add it last because that's why i was like i don't add the okra at the beginning it will boil out in the pot and um so yeah everything was intact everything was perfect i'm going to share my bowl because i had about two to three bowls it's soup weather it's cold outside it's fall growing up in jamaica this was a saturday meal but yeah you know um this could be an any day meal right now so quick and easy and so delicious all right, and as far as leftovers, you can leave this in the refrigerator for about two to three days. Anything beyond that, definitely freeze it. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my bowl. This was so good. Definitely, y'all have to try this. All right, so I will list all the ingredients in the description box and my kitchen tools and my spoons, my bowls. You can find that on my Amazon storefront. I will also leave that link in the description box as well all right so thank you guys again for watching i will see you on the next video have a great day bye bye